Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking. Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday and I'm on my way to the gym, of course. I'm gonna do my little ponytail over. So y'all, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I downloaded the Yuka app that Taja mentioned on her blog and girl, everything we've known is a lie. It's a lie. Girl, it's, it tells you like if products are good or bad, if they have high risk, low risk. Girl, I was scanning for like 30 minutes straight, throwing everything out, things that I'm not gonna buy anymore. It does give you recommendations on what you should use instead of the products that's bad that you scanned. The Essentia water, I'm gonna pull up the app and scan it and let y'all see what it says. Okay. Yeah, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all a few other things that I love that they said is not good. All right, so I have it pulled up. I'm gonna scan this little barcode right here. This is what it says, it's poor. And then if you scroll up, tell you why it gave it that rating and the things that's in it that you shouldn't consume. So it's zero saturated fat, zero calories, zero sugars, um, but it does have one hazardous ingredient and this, this is the ingredient right here that we shouldn't be consuming right here. So I will no longer be purchasing that water, but it does give you recommendations at the bottom. So I do like the um, Nestle Pure Life because I used to drink that all the time. So that's the one that I would buy. So Aquafina is excellent. It has a perfect score. Um, that Deer Park Natural Spring Water is 100 points, 100. Um, the Water Natural Spring, 100 points. Designy, the Designy is 71 out of 100. I don't really like that water either. Smart Water, 71 out of 100. Let's see, so the Nestle is the one that I really like. And that one is 71 out of 100. Um, girl, yeah, and then the Dr. Teal's, the, cause girl, I was in here scanning everything in my refrigerator, all my favorite things I was scanning and I'm like, oh gosh. Now I know I did hear Shauna mention on one of her vlogs, I think like last week where she downloaded um, Noom and she was talking about a similar um, scanner on that app so I remember her saying that um, but then I saw this on Taja's vlog and I'm like let me download it and it's free so girl I've been in here just scanning away so the Dr. Teal's because it'll keep track of the stuff that you scanned um, let me see I have my history here so the tree hut body scrub is poor the exfoliating body polish by dove is poor i thought that one was going to be pretty good because the body wash that i use had a good rating um child all the cheeses had bad rating girl the um celsius pink vibe y'all know i love that 
that had a good rating. Um, those gummy bears that you guys told me about, the Albanese gummy bears, those had a bad rating. But I don't really like those. I did buy them because you guys, some of you guys suggested that I try those because y'all know I like the one in the gold bag. Um, but I don't like those because the flavors are better than the other gummy bears, I must admit. Like, they do have some flavors that's really good. But I just don't like how soft they are. I like the other brand because they're, I like the texture of them. So, I don't like those other ones. But they had a bad rating anyway, girl, so I ain't buying those no more, okay? No, that's my excuse. <laughs> the matcha that I get had an excellent rating. I've been trying to put y'all on matcha years ago. But this is the one that I get from Sprouts and it had an excellent rating. Um, what else? Oh, the buffalo dip and the hummus dip that I get from Trader Joe's, they both had poor ratings. My favorite peanut ginger salad dressing, poor rating. Um, my falafel had an excellent rating. My shrimp burgers from Trader Joe's, excellent rating. My creamy spinach artichoke, artichoke dip had a good rating. Um, let me see. My lemonade soothing scrub from Ole Henriksen had a poor rating. The Dr. Tills right here. Girl, look, had a terrible rating. But it does give you recommendations at the bottom. So the Shea Butter um, Coconut and Hibiscus Hand and Body Scrub has an excellent rating. And then this one is Alba Botanica Hawaiian Body Scrub had 65 out of 100. And then this breakfast scrub, I've seen this in, I think, Target, um, the Soap and Glory brand. That one had a good rating. Yeah. I got to switch up a few things. So right now I'm getting ready to um, go to the gym, and I'll see you guys in a few. Alpine mushroom and Swiss panini. This is so good, y'all. How many of you guys remember when I made this from HelloFresh? That's where I got the recipe from, and it is delicious. Sourdough bread, cheese, onion, mushrooms. So bomb. So I am snacking on some watermelon. This is the yellow flesh watermelon that I picked up from Sprouts. It tastes just like the regular watermelon. But, yeah, I'm going to snack on this. I have to make my way back to T-Mobile because my screen protector cracked again. I have to replace these things way too much. Like, this is ridiculous. I didn't tell you guys for Mother's Day, I got a new laptop. I got a MacBook Pro. Before, I had the MacBook Air. I still have that one. I've been using that one. I really haven't been using this one, so I'm going to mess with this one today. My son bought me the Magic Mouse from Apple, and I had to watch a YouTube video to learn how to work this thing, but I'm going to play with my computer, see if I can get some stuff transferred over, and yeah, that's what I'm sitting here doing right now. I have all of my little devices. Actually, I have my iPad. I actually edit on my iPad, but I want to start editing on my laptop. So I'm going to download a few things on here while I enjoy my watermelon. All 
scratch out. So I'm trying to learn a new editing software. This is DaVinci Resolve, it's free. They do have a more advanced version. I think it's the same price as Final Cut Pro. It's like $2.99. Um, but what I'm doing is I've, I'm basically just playing around with this vlog that you guys are watching right now. I just imported the clips that I already have edited down to um, my laptop. Just like I said, just to play around and kind of practice with it. It's hard. <laughs> So it's gonna take me some time to do it. So I need a break because I've been at this for quite some time. I'm watching a video, I'm watching um, Justin Brown. He's really good. He talks about like editing and like editing on your phone, editing on um, your laptops for YouTube. So if you guys are new to the YouTube space or to the creator space, I would say to definitely check out Justin Brown because he's really good. Um, so I'm gonna take a break right now. <laughs> I'll get back to this later. Today is Sunday. I was just watching my girl Shauna here on YouTube. Happy Stylish Mommy. And why am I holding my finger like <laughs> And um, I'm on my way to Sephora. <laughs> um, I was going to Sephora anyway. That's why I started getting ready um, this morning because some of you guys suggested that I try the Fenty contour stick and I wanted to go up there and get some. I wanted to do it yesterday, but girl, yesterday I had like a lazy day. I stayed in my bed, not really all day because I did get up to eat and stuff like that. But for the majority of the day, I was in my bed. I watched Netflix. I watched this show called... Um, let me get it so I won't because I don't want to give y'all the wrong information. Let me see the name of the show. I did post it on Instagram. Anatomy of a Scandal. And it was so good. It's a series, but it's only six episodes. I watched the entire thing yesterday. It was it was really good to me. I really enjoyed it. I couldn't turn it off. Because I wanted to see what was gonna happen if that fool. I don't want to give it away, but if y'all haven't seen it, y'all need to check it out. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to Sephora because of the contour sticks that you guys recommended. Um, Cause y'all know I want to try to get into contouring and I never really know like all of um, the makeup that's out, the makeup to try because y'all know I just stick to my regular thing. Today I'm just wearing my my old one. And y'all saw me do my makeup like last week on the last week's video. For the concealer, I use the I use two different concealers. What is that? I used the matte concealer for my brows, which I probably put it up already. And then for my under eye, I like to use this Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer Healthy Skin. And it is in the color Pecan. This is how it looks. I got this from Target. And I really, really like it. And then y'all know for the brows, I use the Maybelline brow pencil that I've been using all my life. <laughs> Not all my life, but whenever I started doing my brows, that was the brow pencil that I used. 
Um, so I think I started doing my brow, like I think I cut my brows completely off when I was in the sixth grade, trying to do my brows like my mama, cause my mama has bomb eyebrows. And I still use her technique to this day. So hey mom girl, thank you child. So um, yes, I cut my eyebrows completely off trying to do my eyebrows like my mom. My mama always had really nice brows. Like she did her brows really pretty. She would cut the end, like the arch part off. And then she had like a full brow in the front and she would just draw her arch how she wanted it. But me not knowing how she was doing that, I just loved the way her brows looked. So I just chopped my off completely and girl, it was full. Okay, so I finally, I probably really, really got into doing my brows probably when I was like in my early 20s. That's when I really mastered it. So, um... Yeah, I always get a lot of questions about my brows, but now I have a full brow, but I still just, you know, do my arch how I do my arch, but I use that Maybelline pencil. Let me show y'all how it looks, because that's the only pencil I use. So this is a new paint, and it has makeup all over it. I'm sorry, and I probably have makeup and stuff all over my nails, so my nails probably look very janky, so I'm sorry about that. But this is the Expert Wear, and it's in the color Velvet Black. These are the eyebrow pencils that I've always, always used. I've never used anything else, and I love them. Um, girl, I've been sitting up here while I was getting ready, and Shauna video popped up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to watch this because I'm going to support it anyway. And she always have really, really good recommendations for things. We like a lot of the same things. So a lot of the things she showed today, I already have. Some of the things she showed, I purchased because of her. Um, but she gives really, really good recommendations. And I've never tried something that she recommended and didn't like it. So she is my go-to girl when it comes to wanting to try something new. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna like it. So like I said, we have a lot of the same things and we like a lot of the same things. She recommended the um, the Dior cotton pads. Let me wash my hands real quick. I signed up to the email list so they can email me when they were back in stock. And I got an email and I finally got my hands on them. So I haven't tried them yet because I still have a few more of my Chanel pads. I just put them in here because I keep my, my nighttime skincare on the sink. So I just have them in this little baggie right here so I can just go ahead and use those up and then I'm going to start on my Dior cotton pads, but I am so excited. I got this sample of this Christian Dior perfume called Eden Rock. Y'all, it smells so good, I ordered the big bottle. It smells so, so good. Like, ooh, I love it. And I sprayed some on already this morning, I thought I did. So I think I'm gonna have to um, be a little heavy with this. But it smells really good. Y'all know I like a really light, fresh scent. It smells really pretty. So I can't wait for my bottle to come in. I ordered it like last week because my cotton pads came in last week. So yeah, um, I have to get my list together because she did mention um, a few uh, products that I want to try from Necessaire. She mentioned an aluminum free deodorant. I haven't tried that yet. And then um, I think she said the necessaire um, body wash in the scent bergamot. Because I usually use the um, eucalyptus. So I do want to try the bergamot. And she had a few different things on there. So I got to I'm gonna get my list together. And I'm going to Sephora. And I'll let you guys know when I get back. Where's my... Um, so I am going to put on a little bit of blush. I love wearing orange blush. I've been wearing orange blush for years. A few years back when I first started wearing it, it was by N, I think, what was it? Was it um, NYX? I think it was a NYX orange blush that I used to get. And um, it was so pretty. I used to buy it in the hair store, but they stopped selling it. But I also buy this one in the hair store. It looks so pretty on dark skin. I love wearing this orange blush. You can, It doesn't look orange. You, you know what I'm saying? So I know y'all like orange blush, but trust me. 
it looked pretty. <laughs> it looks very, very pretty. So yeah, um, that is what I'm doing today. I did want to um, eat some seafood today, so I might do that. I need to go pick up some crabs. But then I was like, well, do I really want to eat seafood? Because my, my sister's having a birthday party tomorrow. And I know she's going to have crabs and everything else. So um, I'm like, do I really want it two days in a row? The answer is yes. <laughs> I still haven't found my um, Black Radiance Cream Contour Palette. Cause this one is done okay i'm not gonna even show y'all how it look because i've had it for so long but i like to take the um illuminating cream and put a little bit on my nose give it a nice little glow i like to put some right in the front like this my little tear duck like this and then I do have a mold right here, but when I put my makeup on, it gets covered. So I use some liquid eyeliner. Use just the e.l.f. liquid liner to create another mold. <laughs> so yeah. That is it. So I'm going to just let my mold dry real quick. And then I'm going to spray my face. Urban Decay All Nighter. But sometimes I use this Rose Water Set and Spray. Which I really, really love. I get it from TJ Maxx. Um, it's so good. So I use that one as well. But listen, I wanted to tell you guys really quick. Because I know some of you guys left some comments on my Instagram. And noticed that I didn't respond back. And the reason for that is because I need for you guys to do me a favor. If you watch a YouTube video and you have a question about a YouTube video, I need for you to leave that comment question on YouTube because you guys have to understand that I am also very active on my Instagram. So if I have comments from Instagram and comments from YouTube all in one place, it's just way too much for me. And I don't want to be that creator that doesn't respond because y'all know I do communicate. And that's I can understand like if you guys were doing that because that's your way of getting in contact with me. But I do respond to you guys in the comments here on YouTube. So and it will also help my engagement if you comment in the comment section about the whatever you had the question about on YouTube. So when you guys do that, it's just too much. It's too much for me. But I have a pretty tight community over here. So you guys have to do that for me because I will no longer be answering comments on my Instagram if it's something about YouTube. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. So if you guys have been here for a while or if you are new to my channel, I do respond back to my people. I do. I talk to y'all all the time in the comments. But just I just ask that you guys please just keep the comment section separate. If you have a question about something that you saw on YouTube, leave it in the comment section on YouTube. Please. We are on the move. Hopefully I can find a parking spot directly in front of Sephora. If not, then I might just go to Nordstrom and Ulta because yeah, I think I would have to go to two different places. Because girl, it's so hot outside. It, it, it's saying it's 89 degrees, but girl, that's a lie. It's hotter than that. Y'all, I thought I was talking to y'all and I wasn't recording, but I did park by Lids if you guys are in Jessica. So that's a short walk and it's shaded over here. So it's not that bad. So, so as I turn this corner, I'm at Sephora. Okay, y'all, so I'm at 
my parents house and I did stop by Sephora some of the products that I wanted to get they didn't have available in stores they said that right now at our Sephora and we only have one Sephora well besides the one that's in JCPenney's um, they only have the products that I was looking for online and that was the deodorant by Necessaire the Necessaire um, bergamot body wash because I use the uh, eucalyptus I'm just gonna use her links in her description box I was able to get my hands on some of the clay this is it right here and they had two different scents they had st. Bart's and Merrow's um, the Merrow's place I bought the Merrow's place I think this one smells a little more expensive if you ask me <laughs> so this is the one that I went with but it smells really good I like it so um yeah this is the scalp and body scrub but i won't be using it on my scalp i know shauna said she didn't use it on her scalp just for a body scrub and then i did get the fenty contour stick and well it's called a match stick and i got the color caviar and this one is pretty dark so so this is how it looks. I hope my sister's ring light isn't um, too bright. But yeah, this is the one that I got. So I think. This is how it looks. Yeah! Girl, I wish I would have thought of this a long time ago. Is this magnetic? Okay. Oh, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I got that. Kalila! Oh, let me get the brush. Let me look in her makeup bag and see if I can find. Child, my sister's over here. And they loud. So yeah that's how that looks it looked good but I want to do um, I want to contour my cheeks and um, my nose I guess just basically my face because I know I always see some girls put like the contour up here up here down here along the jawline and it looks really cute Yeah, hey, my mama. My sister's over here. They waiting for my other sister to come. And it's just, girl, they got it going on up in here. Okay, and then I ended up buying a perfume. She was a little pricey, okay? Because this is a one... Ooh! This is a 1.7 ounce bottle, and it was $200. So I got the Killian... Angel's Share, and it smells really nice. This is how the bottle looks. So it's so cute. And look how small this is for two hundred dollars. Girl, that's expensive, but it smells nice. So that is everything that I picked up. I got my crab. So I'm just gonna sit over here. For a little while edit some of the footage that i have and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on instagram i am shrika b and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys don't take it personal i ain't lying i ain't hiding i've been grinding multiplying i've been trying to get my weight up staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus
Oh, oh, oh. Baby, don't check for me. 